Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. This is a special episode because I'm not doing what I usually do, which is probably ride trains and go around. Actually, I might do a bit of that, but this is a video to look back at all the progress that we've had in the past year and take a look at some of my favorite stations along the way. Right now, I am at Red Leaf Station, which is the second station that was built on the Let's Play server. The first one is, of course, Spawn Station. So this station was originally built by my wife. With some help from Marcus, we completed the station together. So that was such a long time ago. Alright, so Spawn Grand Circular is the first line on the server. Let me take you to another station that I really like seeing. Just riding the Spawn Grand Circular down the line brings back a lot of memories and some good times on the Let's Play. This is probably over a year ago, so not in 2023, but it's still kind of fun to go back and to see how each station has grown. For example, Red Leaves when it was first built, it wasn't an interchange station, and then we started to have the Weiss LRT, and then the South Continental Line as well. Icert Estate, same thing, used to not have an interchange, but now we have the ship line over here. I wonder if it's running yet though. Alright, we are here at Yanjiang Mineshaft. This is one of the other stations that I would like to show off. This was built a long time ago as well, probably not in 2023, but still one of my favorites to this day. Take a look at this architecture. Oh, there's a person over there. But this is just... Wow. Still looks pretty cool to this day. It's supposed to be designed like the magma is flowing off the sides. This platform is melting away. That's the idea. Oh, I wonder why there's a spruce boat here. That's the idea of the spawn grand circular platforms. At first, that was the only line. And then more stuff got built, including the Callus Express, which has its own video dedicated to it, as well as the other lines down there. There's a train to Olympiskaya, the Wilds Railway Yanyu line, and the WLT Line 1. Still work in progress, but I think parts of it was open before. So, really unique design station, but so far I've only been showing stations that I've worked on. So let's take a look at some other stations that others have built. Okay, so taking a look at the system map, we are at Yanjiang Mineshaft, and the next station I want to check out Yankton. It's a big hub with high speed as well, and the way we're going to get there, I think, through McFlurry down to Shirakawa and to Yankton, that might be the best option. Oh, and right here, there's a train. Just made it right on time. And then we're going to get off at the next one and change to the Shirakawa line. Alright, we're here. This station is not bad as well, but I'm not going to feature it as one of my favorite stations of 2023 just because I think it's okay. And Platform 5 is a terminating platform, so technically we shouldn't need those signs. Oh, this is new. The middle, I remember when I was renovating the station for this line, there was like a depot in the middle with a train. But looks like that got taken away. I think Stronger was the one that worked on this line. This line only has three stations, and we're gonna go directly to Shirakawa. And luckily, there's a train that's coming, and so we don't have to wait for that long. Oh, that reminds me. I am back from Hong Kong now. So I'm back in Seattle recording another video. I just got back a few days ago. I recovered from jet lag a bit better than I thought I would but my wife is still really tired. I don't think she's fully recovered because she took naps during the day when you're not really supposed to. Anyway, <laughs> this is an S train for the South Island line. The way I know is from the lights because they look like bubbles because the train goes through Ocean Park Station. But I finally got a chance to ride on Q trains. That's exciting. Next it looks station, like this tunnel Batman. is not fully built. So we're cutting through blocks right now. And also chunks aren't loading. And yeah, 
All right, we are here at Chirakawa Station. So, looks like we need to go up to the snowy line. That's how we can get down to Yankton. Yeah, my trip to Hong Kong was really nice. I had much more time to do other stuff. For example, I got to visit Harbor Station on the very first day actually, thanks to people on Discord telling me I should visit it. I think we go down this escalator. Harbor Station is a fake railway station. Oh, oh, this way, this way. It's a fake railway station housing a retired MLR train. So I got to bring my wife there. She's never been on an MLR train before because station, the, the train's retired station, by the time the she came to Hong Kong the first time after we got married. Line. So Lanka that was unfortunate, Chester but I'm really glad she got to go and see that with me. <laughs> she wasn't in, she wasn't really that interested though. It was just for my sake, but it was really cool for me to see it as well. So this is an R train. These are the trains that replace the MLR. The MLR is the one that runs on the Spawn Grand Circular currently. Yeah, so I'm really happy that I could see that at Harbor Station and that MTR decided to keep those trains over there. Okay, we're at Yangton Station. The next station that I would like to feature on my list of stations that I like from 2023. So, even though this hasn't been fully renovated yet, I really like that it has a high-speed connection. Oh, it's really laggy. That's not one of the things I like about it. But the architecture is also pretty unique in that you have a lot of platforms down underground. And the way the platforms are connected, you see here there's an escalator that bypasses the top platforms. And then these are the bottom platforms and there's a skylight that looks down on an even lower level of platforms. So here, we have some terminating platforms, and this one is the South Continental Line, I believe, that goes through Red Leaves, the station where we started from. Yeah, there it is, Red Leaves. Lei Yu Moon as well. All right, so in the high speed section, this is what it looks like. I really like the cross beam design that's used right here. And we've got a train here to Danielston, and we've also got Clamera via Spawn. That train used to use this platform, but I think it's been moved over here so that this platform can serve trains to Danielston. Alright, let's move on to the next station on the list, Ostania. This is a station on the east side of the map on the Let's Play. I'm actually surprised no one has built more east yet. So, how do we get there from Yankton? That's going to be a bit tricky. So we could take some local routes. Or we can take the high speed back to spawn and go from there. So I'm thinking maybe the snowy line to Eden and then up. Hmm. How can we get to this line over here? Is Shek I an interchange? Oh, it is. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not an interchange. So maybe we have to rely on light rail. Look how many people are online. That's crazy. Oh, this map is really hard to read. Hmm. I guess Callus we can get off and then... No, that's gonna take a really long time. So might as well just go to spawn, high speed to Jonathan's resort, and then take the sightseeing express to Ostania. I think that would be the best option, even though it'll still take a while. Alright, there's a Clamera via spawn train. Ooh, just got in while the doors were closing. This is rude. I just got to spawn, and wow, where is this train? This looks like a Chinese high speed train, I've never seen this before. This is going to Rikashi Yongchun. Look at that. I've never seen this train before. Wow, the head looks really smooth as well. Okay, anyway, let's focus and get back to the platform where we needed to go. So not Sunrise. 
And Kala's Jonathan's Resort. Feels like this was built a long time ago. I'm not gonna list Spawn as one of the stations on my list of favorites because most people know what Spawn looks like because that's where you start riding the trains when you first join the server. So instead, I'm going to check out more interesting stations for you all. In fact, I'm not even going to say Jonathan's Resort as one of the stations, even though I built it and I think it looks decent. It looks okay. Alright, we're at the resort. Let's go back down and see what line we need to take next. So, the lag is pretty bad right now. That's why chunks are not loading as they should. But let's go through the lobby one more time so that I can showcase the station, even though I am not naming it as one of my top stations in 2023. I don't know why the cat animation's not working right now. Alright, let's go down. This is really laggy still, even though it's not like spawn. Oh, the alt gate and resort moved down. Oh, I guess that happened a long time ago. Is this train to... Okay, Twilight Spruce. The train to Ostania is one minute. So I shouldn't get on this train or else I'm not going to get to where I want to go. Okay. Just checking out these platforms down here because I'm not sure when was the last time I've been down here. So this is the Altgate and Resort. And there's a train going to Arsenal Bridge. Hmm. And they're using single platform screen doors as well. Not really sure... Wow. Not really sure when this line was built. But... Wow, these are like Japanese trains, right? They look like Japanese trains. Really cool interior. I wonder who made it so I can credit them in the next video. Oh, this is really laggy to look around though. Oh, the next train to Ostania is arriving, so I better not miss this. Okay, goodbye resort. You have been good. See you maybe in another video. Okay, I am just passing this station, Twilight Spruce, and I think I want to get off just to give it a shout out, because this is also a really well-designed station. Oh look, there's a train right here for the Bond Line. I think this is the Bond Line, right? This line also goes to Ostania, I think. Is this called the Bond Line? Yes, it is. Okay, so this station is one of the first stations to use the 3D object rendering feature of the NTE mod. So if I look at it from the outside, you can see here that the roof uses these diagonal beams, which is normally impossible to do in Minecraft. But this uses the OBJ eye candy block from the NTE mod. So I believe it's somewhere or maybe on top here, yeah. So this is the decoration object. When I place it down, you can use the brush to configure what model you want. You can import these models using resource packs and you can just put it in this block, this decoration object, and it will show up like this. So this roof design was used or was built using those objects from the NTE mod. Really cool. You should check out the station if you haven't already. Alright, back onto the train to go to Ostania. I think it's on that side, but it connects through. Which is another cool thing about the station. You've got this little middle level and connected like this to the side platforms. And we've got two levels of platforms here. Alright, finally, we're here at Ostania, and we have an M train just departing from this platform. So this is not the Disneyland Resort line. This is, in fact, the Bond line, and I think also the sightseeing stops here as well. So, this station is very well built. I think T built it, right? Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But this is built after Sunny Bay Station. 
in real life. Sunny Bay is a station in Hong Kong with the Tong Chung line over here and the Disneyland Resort line on the third platform right here. The middle has Airport Express, but in this case on the Let's Play, other lines use the middle tracks, not the Airport Express. And then on the side here, there are other trains to, oh, East Yunlong as well. Wow, that goes really far. Higashi Yunlong. And then this side goes to Epping. So, oh, I keep trying to not get on the train, but I still get on anyway. So, let me fly out real quick to show you the whole design of the station. Oh, just managed to catch this through train running through Ostania Station. This is a really cool shot. And these bridges are perfect for train spotting too. It wasn't that fast though. <laughs> I wish they would go much faster than that so you can really see the train zoom by. So in Hong Kong, this exit comes out to like a bus interchange. But right now it goes to Tong Tao Village, which I guess is this one right here. And the third platform, there's this canvas roof that goes over that. Oh my, the chunks. Come on. And then in these platforms, we have a creative use of the glass slab blocks, which provide sort of a glass canopy, but they're not fully transparent Minecraft glass blocks as well. So really well designed. The next station I would like to check out is Eastwich. Where is that? It's this hub right here with Eastwich Station North, Eastwich on Sea, and Eastwich Ferry Pier. So that is light rail only from Loyalty Hills or Diamond Island connects here through what's this line? 761? 761 goes I don't know where. Is that only three stations? No? Hmm. Okay. 761 loops around there. But no. We're not going through Diamond Island, maybe. Maybe we would just go down to Jonathan's Resort and get... Oh, so hard to read. Callus Express... No, not Callus Express. 720. 720, I believe goes from the resort through Eastwich to Diamond North. And then we're over here at Ostania. All right, wow, there's an MLR right here. And then there's a 1141A, I think. So let's get back over to this platform. Oh, good, the next train coming is going to be a sightseeing line train. So, wow, look how big this map is. It's actually only one, two, three, four stations, but it feels like a long time because it's a long distance. All right, finally we're here. Light rail is up above, so let's go over there. Oh, my Café de Coral. I think I didn't even go to Café de Coral this time around when I went to Hong Kong. Isn't that surprising? I went to... Uh, I don't know. Did I go to Fairwood and stuff like that? I remember going to Super Super to eat some breakfast. Okay, 720 Diamond North Platform 13 in 2 minutes. So 13 is all the way over here. It's been a while since I've been over here in the light rail section as well. So, remember to tap. Oh, my balance is negative. So I had to get some emeralds so that I can add value. Oh, actually there are machines down here to add value. The reason is because the command blocks used to continually reset my balance to zero. So it will never be an issue. But now that command blocks are temporarily disabled to improve the MSPT, I have to manually use emeralds to add money. So the train's gonna come in one minute, but it's kind of cool to see other light rail trains pull in and out of the stations. The train is coming soon, so maybe if we're lucky, 
we can kind of spot the train. Oh, this one has overhead cables too. Maybe we can spot the train looping around. Actually, no. North is that way. So maybe the train, we won't be able to see the train. But this one, we can see it leaving. Pretty cool. I don't know why I'm getting these lag spikes as well. Alright, here's my train and we have a phase 4 right here. This is route 720 nice. to Damon North. Oh, we have scrolling text because the custom resources don't support using the light rail animation right now. So it's going to be scrolling text. Really cool to see the overhead cables used with the light rails though. Feels much more realistic. Alright, finally we're here. E-switch on C. I haven't been to this station before, so it's going to be a surprise for me as well. We've got a 271P pulling into this station also. Using the... Oh, I forgot. S something about Somnium Light Rail or something. This is one of Twinkle's trains that was on the Sentown server. Wow, lots of memories with this one. Okay. So, E-Switch on C, we have three light rail lines over here, on this platform at least, and wow, we've got an interesting crossing. What's this train? Where is this going? Is it off the rails? Oh no, it's just turning a tight curve. That's the 271 to Taotong, and then we have another train over here. 271 to Loyalty Hills. That's the other direction. Wow, this light rail interchange is pretty cool. And over here, we've got the overground trains. Got some more light rail. Does this also go through to the main station? No, this just goes into a walkway. But it's also a really cool spot to look at light rail trains if you like to do that. These tracks are different from those tracks in that there are no sleepers because this is a an, actu an actual crossing right here. So 720 to the resort, that's the other direction of the train that we were just on. And on this side, I don't know if this goes anywhere. Maybe it goes to one of the entrances, but I'm going to follow the signs to the main concourse. It seems like the concourse is underground. This station is still work in progress, but I decided to showcase it anyway because it has really good architecture and high potential, I think. I think Lily built the station. Alright, so that's where the stairs came out from. And then I believe this is the overground platforms over here. Yep. There's a train already here. Actually, this is just a siding, I think. E switch on C, we have a nice overground sign over here. Platform 2, I wonder if there's any activity over here. Yeah, we've got a train coming, a terminating train in about 10 seconds now. There it is. Wow, is this a retextured 423? That's really creative. And the tail lights look great. Wow, I really like this. Good job, whoever designed the train. And the front turns green. Wow, I've never seen a green headlight of a train. And these pixelated lights, I really like them. Nice work. Okay, since this station is still work in progress, I am just going to leave it alone. Take a look at this light rail area. It's really well designed. All these cables makes it really come to life. All right, moving on to Sunrise Station, one of the bigger ski resorts on the server. Sunrise has a lot of light rail lines as well as some shuttles like the Peak Tram. So the way to get there is pretty simple. It's just won't well, it might take quite a long time. So let me see again. E switch on C. We need a train to Sunrise. Uh, there might be a direct train that goes there. Hmm, I don't see it right now. So it has to be 271 or 
720. 720 goes to Diamond North. 271 keeps going to Tao Tong. Or where's Loyalty Hills? Loyalty Hills is at the oh that's the opposite side, yeah. So the train's gonna stop right there. And then that dynamic, maybe we can catch the 717, which goes to Sunrise. Alright. Wow, I just saw this train to South Memorial. That sounds like a really long train ride all the way from up here. Because South Memorial is pretty close to spawn, I think. Okay, so 720 goes to Diamond North. I guess better than nothing because we're still going north anyway. Yeah, from Diamond North we can get 735 to Sunrise. Alright, trains here. So I guess we can get on and be on our way to Sunrise. Okay, finally here. We can already see the beautiful architecture of Sunrise Station. We've got one of those high-speed trains down here. This is the diagonally line, the express train. And we've got a lot of levels. Tap your card to validate your journey. So I need to remember to exit. Only one dollar, that's crazy. Probably because people didn't set their zones. Oh, here you can access the track with the escalators. We've got a few lines here, and it's very well designed, the station. Very spacious as well. Simple design, but spacious and effective. Even the ceiling has got some detail with the roof design. And it just feels very welcoming, the station. Although some areas can be lit up better, I would say. And then this is the exits on this side the peak tram is over here the ski resort and the ancient city shuttle is over there so let's first check out the peak tram i know i've showed that before in one of my other videos but it never hurts to show it again oh is this under construction or something this exit or maybe this isn't the exit to the peak tram maybe it's over here yeah signs are a bit misleading sometimes We've got a lot of exits too, look at that. Okay, so it's just actually over here, peak tram. And this is an exit too. Maybe personally I wouldn't make this into an exit because it's just an interchange. Alright, train's about to enter the station. And this is the peak tram. I'm not gonna go on it right now. I'm not gonna, whoa. I'm not gonna ride the train up the mountain because I'm only here to take a look at Sunrise Station for now. Look how spacious and elegant this is, this design is. Good job T, because she designed this station and it looks really good. So let's go over to the resort side of it because we're not done checking out the station yet. I went the wrong way earlier. We shouldn't have gone into Camping Cave, but instead the shuttle to the ski resort is over here. I think using some MBTA trains, yeah. So we will get on the shuttle because I am just showing you how that looks. I don't know which side is going to depart first, so I hope it's this side. If not, then I'm going to try to run to the other side. Oh, and I didn't get it. Hopefully this one departs pretty soon as well. All right, this is a pretty short shuttle and we're over here and we caught up to the other train. Technically, they're running independently. They're both just single tracked going to the other station, but it's sometimes fun to kind of race each other. All right, so back here is the exit to the ski resort. This is a cute little icon for it. So I think this goes directly up to the hotel. This is the hotel. Resort and hotel this way. So yeah, you can check into the hotel and then go up using the lift. Wow, the floor number <laughs> includes the room numbers too, that's funny. Okay, so we're at the base of the resort. 
And this comes out to a beautiful, beautiful spruce wintry forest. And these are the ski slopes. There's even different difficulty to classify the runs. Easy, lower intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced, expert, and off trail terrain. And you've got ski school. And then depending on how many people are in your group, you would queue up differently. And then you would go in here and wait for the ski lift. You stand at the line and then you get on the ski lift. And you go up like that. I'm not going to show the whole ride because that's not the point of this video. You can come check it out yourself at Sunrise Station or watch one of my other videos where I do this. Alright, I'm back at the base of the cable car station. And we're going to go back into the station because the next station that we will check out is Hongai Tong and Kuang Chao stations. So I kind of grouped these two together because they're both on... Oh, this got renamed. To the Mayen Line, Phase 1 South Section. Alright. So this is all the way back to Spawn. So Spawn is over here. And so, Sunrise is on the top corner, so I think we better take the high speed back. Okay, take in the shuttle down here, and this is the high speed platform. Oh, it looks like we just missed the train because the next one's in 4 minutes. And this side is going to be the terminating platform of the Clamera Express. So, we'll go through Kowloon, Spawn, High Speed Terminal 1, and then Yongchun. We won't go to Yongchun, we'll just go to spawn first. So there's gonna be four more minutes till the train comes. Okay. Oh! Did I miss my stop? Oh, that was spawn! Oh no! Next stop, Yongchun. These trains look cool though. This is... I think one of the Chinese metro... Tr or the Chinese high-speed trains. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it looks Chinese... Hmm, actually now I'm not so sure if this is Japanese or Chinese. Please let me know in the comments because I don't want to get it wrong. This looks like it's also a 3D model like OBJ train. Outside we have a display. I don't know what is Tiao Dek. Is that Chinese or Japanese? Yes, that doesn't sound Chinese. Okay. Anyway, I have to go backwards. Actually, while we're here, we might as well visit some of Suzuri stations. Oh, look, there's a double-decker KTT express train. Yeah, while we're here, might as well visit some of Suzuri stations because those are worth mentioning as well. So Yongchun comes all the way over here, close to Akiban's area of Rikashi. So this pink line is the Cupid line. That's Akivin's area, and Yongchun, I believe, is Suduri's area. And last time we took a ride down this green one, which is the Gyeongchun Express and the Gyeongchun Line, down to this station, Bitnoi, Bionai. Not sure how to pronounce that. All right, so another station that we could check out is. Elina Station. I'm not sure who built that, but first, let's get to Yongchun first. All right. Wow. So many different trains here. BR 423 with black interior. This is Spawn via Danielston, the high speed. And then on this side, we have a double decker KTT train, Sunrise via Spawn. So that's where we came from, Sunrise. This is like from the Left edge of the map to the right edge of the map. I've never been inside these KTT trains before, both in real life and on the server. But pretty cool. Pretty soon the mod will be able to support double decker trains. So check out my 4.0 playlist if you haven't already, because that playlist showcases some very new features that is going to come out soon. Okay, so from here, where should we go? I think the Sioux Southlands line and then to the Mount Birch line. Actually, the Mount Birch line might not 
go like a U shape. We might have to take the Sioux Southland line towards that way, the oasis. I think I just saw that there's a train currently, so I don't know if we'll make it. We have to exit the high speed. I forgot to pay on the way in again. I always do that. So we might not make it in time. Let's hope for the best. So it looks like this way, right? Oh, and sufficient balance. Now I'm definitely going to miss the train. Depending on how long the train dwells there. Yep, it's not here. Okay, so we need to get to the oasis and then to Shahoi village or Natsunogo. And then down to Mercy and to Elinus. All right. So I'm not really going to show too much of myself riding the train because this video is mainly about stations and waiting for trains just take up time in the video. So I'm going to pause the video and then resume when I get to Elinus and show you what it looks like. Wow, this is already very mind blowing. Even right when I get off the train and look at the station structure. What's SNCF? I don't know. And I'm not sure who built this as well. So please comment in the video description or in the comments if you know who made this so I can give proper credit. And look at this. This station building is grand already. It reminds me of Chonghao Street on Sentown. Or no, Wangarada. All right, let's go on the outside and take a look. This station does not have too many lines, but for this section, it's very well designed. Oh, it looks like there's an MTR quest here too. Look at that. Wow, other than the missing chunks, wow. There's also a naturally generated castle here as well. It looks even more majestic in the daytime, doesn't it? with a train in the background. I'm just flying around and admiring the architecture of this thing. Wow, there's like, I don't know if those are chimneys, but they just add more detail to the station. Just more and more little details that you notice. And we have these MTR station decoration, stair railing. That's a really nice touch and level of detail to the station. I don't think the upper floors have much to them, but that doesn't matter. Even if it's just an area to congregate, no stores and stuff, still a very useful space. Maybe it can be converted into a train museum, restaurants, who knows. Another train's pulling out. This looks like a depot. We've got some different train types here. This one goes all the way down uh, Al Tignari. This goes, this is Elinus Station. And then we've got a high speed train here as well. Not sure what trains or what lines those trains serve, but I'm guessing they're all going to be right here. Hmm. This looks like an overground line, but I know it's not. Uh, this is very impressive to whoever, whoever built this. I wish I knew so that I can call, call them out in the video. All right, so it's time to head somewhere else now. Is this the line to some of Sudori stations? I think the Riverina Express is what we're looking for. That goes down to some of Sudori's lines. And perfect timing. I think this is the way we want to go. If I miss this train, is another 20 minutes. So thankful that I got this train right when it arrived. The interior is really beautiful as well. I especially like this area, the end doors, where we have the translucent logo of the train itself. If we look on the outside, 
It's like a branded train too. We've got the X logo. And the whole train has like a reddish brown color scheme. All right. This is Gapyeong Station. I've showcased some of these stations on Sudori's line before, and they are always really well built, and each one is different. So, we've got a station building over here. I did see someone over here. Is this? Oh, it's Sudori! Hello. I'm just visiting your line because it's so well designed. Each station is different. We've even got some Korean icons for the signs here. And I always enjoy coming to see your builds. This is Cheongpyeong Station. Another one on the line. We've checked out this whole line in a separate video, so please go there and check it out. Just wanted to pick some random stations Next along station, Sudori's lines Sanchen. to feature because basically I want to feature every Jibas. single station on the line. That's how that's how good it's designed. So the next station is Sangchun. Sangchun. Sangchun in Cantonese. There's a bus here too. So I'm gonna get off at this station because in that video we didn't really get a chance to visit each station in detail. But hopefully now that I'm doing a station review video, we can do just that. And there's another train on that side. Alright. This is the station, and we have a building over here. Let's exit the proper way, and not just fly around everywhere. So let's go to the concourse. Oh wow, this is pretty small. Pretty compact station. And here you can go to the buses. Okay, I decided to fly out a little bit. That's where we exited from. Look at this station building and this beautiful roundabout where the buses come and... Oh, this is the 93k route. So the buses go over here, turn around and come back to pick up passengers. This is a really simple station design, like a village station. But look how much effort Sudori put into designing the ceilings and the pillars. Even the station building, the curves and the pillars on the outside, and the fences. Yeah, this whole line is just great. Oh wow, what are these stairs? From the MTR station decoration lot. Alright, when the bus comes around, then I can showcase the bus and head over to our next station. There's the bus. Wow, what a beautiful sunset. Watching the bus come. So this is the terminating side. Wow, the doors slide open too. This is a Korean K. bus, I'm guessing. This is route nine. So the, K to the doors open on the right side and the steering is on the left. Because not a lot of countries drive on the left side of the road actually. Only former British colonies and Japan and I don't know if there are other countries that do that. I'm not sure. Okay, we've taken a nice little loop <laughs> around the bus turnaround, and then we can get off here and this is head over to our next station. To so I know we mentioned Kwang Chao and Hongai Tong, but before we do that, I want to check out the Hanakoshi line as well, because the Hanakoshi line also has one of the greatest stations designs on the server. So, to get to the nearest Hanakoshi station might just be Danielston Memorial from where we are. So we're somewhere around here. Uh, I'm not sure actually. I don't know how far down we are. I think we are at Homyong Lake or Sangchun. Sangchun, this is the bus line to Homyong Lake. So taking the Yongchun line, we can go straight to Danielston Memorial, which has an interchange with Hanakoshi. So let's do that. Wow, look at that timing. We still have about 30 minutes to spare because the trains come every six minutes, so you don't want to miss one. But good timing, right when we got off out from the bus stop. 
We got onto the platform, the train is going to come soon. That's great. And as usual, I'm going to cut the video until I get to the next station, or the place where we want to go. Alright, this is Daniel's Ten Memorial. Looks like we've got an entrance at one of these villages here. But as I'm flying around, I notice this power station. That's very unique. I've never seen somebody build a power station next to a station before. It's just an extra detail that is pretty satisfying to see. So this is the Hanakoshi side of Danielston Memorial. I don't think it directly connects to anything. Oh, is it not open? Looks like it's boarded up. Yeah, it doesn't have a direct connection with the rest of the lines. But... Hmm, there's like only one train running. I think Forrest is still trying to set up the schedules, and the server lag definitely does not help with the scheduling. So I guess if it's work in progress, I'm not going to show too much of the line. Maybe show a couple more stations on here, because it's really nice, and I don't want to miss it. Okay, so this is, um, what is this? Danielston Memorial. We've got some nice ceiling designs. I don't know why Forrest doesn't use the MTR station decoration catenaries. Rather, he enjoys using these iron fences. Look, Forrest is here. I wonder what he's doing. Putting some signals down, maybe? But yeah. Very detailed design again. Lots of work put into the ceiling and the station design. So let's check out another one of his stations. Oh, even these custom signs are all drawn by Forrest. And this timetable, painstakingly made by Forrest as well. We've got different values at each station for the times that the train will arrive. So the left column is the hour, the middle column is the minute. I'm not sure what the small numbers are. Hmm. Departure platform, departure time, destination. There we go. So, yeah. There's, this is very, very detailed and very well designed. Okay, let's check out maybe Inage Kaigan. So since the tracks or the station is boarded up. I'm not going to take the train. Instead, I'm just going to teleport to it just to show you all. So Inage Kaigan is actually an interchange with a few other lines. This is including the sightseeing line and uh, what's the other line called? Tingun line. That's right. Tingun line goes to Lake City. And I believe this is the opposite direction of that. Hmm. Where is Lake City? This is the Tingun line, right? Or maybe it's another line. Maybe I've gotten them mixed up. Oh, Tingun line is this way, underground. And the other line is what? Oh, the Sumeru line. Yeah, that makes sense. So, taking a look from the outside, we can see that the station is designed with some quartz, wood, glass. That's the main block palette of the station. And then we have a truss bridge. I think this is a truss bridge. It's not a suspension bridge because it has no cables. But it's a red metal bridge. Technically concrete in Minecraft, but I think it's supposed to be metal. Painted red. So we've got a sightseeing train, a Sumeru line train. Just the whole shape of the station is very aesthetically pleasing. Look at this triangular sky roof here. And the way this roof slopes up is not just a simple slope, but it has like a diamond shape in the middle. I really like that. And then here's the main station building. We've got tracks running perpendicular to the Hanakoshi line platforms. And the platforms also stick out a little bit. So some of the building techniques that work really well in Minecraft is if you have lots of layering and extruding and dents like that. So your whole wall isn't just flat, but it's got some indents 
and it got some it has some parts sticking out like that that's how you design an effective station building as well as mixing in these poles instead of just pillaring blocks like that to make a pillar the poles are just much nicer all right and then we have the timetables here these are very very intricate we've got tables for upbound and downbound inbound and outbound i guess schedule effective april 9th of this year all right really well done forest oh let's check out the exit as well while we're here wow I like these lights, the hanging lights. We've got another bridge on this side if the chunks decide to load. Just a very aesthetically pleasing station in general, and I think Forrest agrees. Forrest has spent a lot of time working on this. The detail includes these little signs like these as well. And the station waiting queues are also custom made. Just a lot of effort put into this. All right, this is a really beautiful view. Let's move on uh, to Kuang Chao and Hongai Chong. So Hanakoshi line from Inage Kaigan. We can take the Tingun line to Lake City and then the Kalis, no, Southwest Wild Railway Southwest Plains line to Birch Hill and then either way to Kuang Chao or Hongai Chong. So let's head back down. Yeah, this part's boarded up. So we're not supposed to go on the Hanakoshi line. But I still wanted to feature it anyway. So to get down to the other side, I think Tingun line this way. Yeah, this whole area is boarded off to make sure you don't ride the Hanakoshi line. I guess Forrest thinks it's not ready yet. Tingun line, I think you have to exit the station, right? Oh no, you can just go directly underneath here. I'm just talking through this part because we can admire the effort put into designing the lobbies as well. Oh, we've actually got the circulator IT as well. That's a light rail line, but this... Today we're going to go on the Tingun line. I think you can come down through here. And do we miss a train? No, it's just arriving. Perfect. Wow, the other side has an M train. And then this side has a C train, retextured into a Q train, I guess. Reminds me of the Kuntong line. I think that's what Ludwig was trying to design when building this Tingun line. Was that the mix of trains is supposed to kind of resemble the Kuntong line. I remember in Hong Kong, the first time I took the Q train, I started to miss the M train immediately. But there is this one time where I was in Mong Kok, coming back from Langham Place, taking the Kuntong line to Diamond Hill, and I got an M train without having to wait or anything. I just happened to stumble onto an M train when going down to the Kuntong line platforms. That was really, really lucky because M trains are now only used for backup, not even part of the main schedule for the Kuntong line anymore. The Kuntong line just uses Q and C trains now. And M trains are super rare that you basically shouldn't expect it. So that was the one time I took the M train on the Kuntong line this trip and I also saw an M train on the other side when I was riding the Kuntong line on another occasion. So Kuang Chao Station is actually built in this village. So I really like the use of these MTR station decoration signage where you can customize each of these boxes I think. It's really creative and really useful. So Kuang Chao one of the entrances is built on the side of a cave, so you can actually look into here. I've featured this entrance in quite a few videos, so I won't talk about this station too much. Just wanted to note that it's by the village, and 
It's built very well as well. Oh, an entry. Even the passenger information display systems are customized based on the colors of the lines. I think, yeah, this is a terminating platform for I don't know which line. But here is the W, not the WLT anymore. The pink line. <laughs> and then this one to Saimo Island. It looks like it's a circular line to the Hanakoshi. That's the line that we came from. Oh wait, no! We didn't come from... No! I didn't know there was a direct connection to the Hanakoshi. But we wouldn't have taken it anyway because we took the we took the pink line inbound and got off from there. But we didn't take this line because Hanakoshi wasn't open yet. Alright, so I do like the design of these kinds of stations where you can see the platforms underneath. We have cross-platform interchanges on both levels and you can see the other platforms because you can look over the edge. Looks like this escalator is saving energy right now and being turned off because I don't know why. Passengers getting off from that line would need to come up anyway, so maybe they can take the stairs instead. Ooh. Did we just get the last train? <laughs> okay, so on the other end of B Dark's line, this is Hongai Tong Station. I like how this is exposed so that you can kind of look from here and see the trains come through on the tracks. Look at this. The station blends right in with the brown trees in the background and the granite. Actually, no, that's not granite. That's just coarse dirt. But wow, this stairway, I don't know where it goes, but it just looks very nice. It almost looks like a Japanese or Chinese castle design. The colors match really well, so down here is a lighter birch and oak color. And as you move up, it's more of a spruce color. And then you have sandstone again. And what's this white block? Just concrete, I guess. Yeah, you got some concrete. And up here, you've got acacia, acacia stairs. And then some, is this like station colored? I'm thinking it's station colored, yep. And then we've got some jungle to top it off. So many types of wood, but also not very plain either. Because sometimes when people design all wooden stations, it can look kind of plain because you've got the same textures over and over again. But no, but no, B Dark designed this so well that you've got a mix of blocks. You've got logs, and then what's this? This is also logs, right? Oh no, stone texture. No wonder it looks different. You've got some smooth concrete textures mixed with sandstone, wood, even some frog lights. So I really like this angle. Maybe I'll make this the thumbnail of the video. And this is sand, right? Concrete powder. Yeah. And I like this little gap here for natural ventilation and sunlight. So when you're standing on the platform, it feels very open. And I'm sure with a nice summer breeze, the station would feel very nice. Okay. Is it just me or is there some spaces here? Hmm. I think B Dark purposely put some spaces as the custom destination. <laughs> so the Chinese words look kind of spaced out. All right, we are coming to the end of this video and we cannot forget about one of the earlier lines of this server, which is not even shown here. The, oh, I suddenly blanked out and forgot what it's called. Azalea CL, yes the blue line here. All of these stations are worth visiting, so if you come on the server, please visit the Azalea CL, at least these few stations. These stations on the right are interchanges with other people, so you've got other designs. I really like these stations like Rainbow Heaven, 
Genepack, Icon Pier. I've talked about them quite a few times in other videos. So let's take a look at Genepack. We always go by it, and I always talk about it. So let's check it out for ourselves. When we first come here, this is already jaw dropping. We've got two trains here. One to Gecko Plaza, the other to Rainbow Heaven. So just, I was just talking about all wooden stations, how they're so plain, but this actually uses wood really well because you've got the strip lock texture, you've got the normal wooden planks texture, and you've got some glass. Oh, yeah, so you've got some glass. And then you've got some smooth stone textures as well, such as granite, uh, not granite, diorite, and andesite, I think. And then down here, some brick textures, some chiseled brick textures. Oh, I see a bus down here. And then down here, we have some azalea patterns, azalea CL, of course. And then over here, we've got some stained glass. Just not boring at all. Look at this. Just the whole station structure. How impressive that is. Unfortunately, this side of the station is not loading in. Alright. We can kind of see the full glory of this station from this angle. Look at that. I'm just going to do a pan here. This is a really beautiful station. And the rest of the stations on the Azalea CL are similarly designed as well. Those paintings also. Nice touch. Even this wall, this walkway down here, with the light design and the wall design, it's never boring. I don't know why you would put ladders here though. It's like encouraging people to climb up here <laughs> to get up to this part. Maybe it's decoration, maybe it's intentional, I don't know. Okay, so I decided to jump on the train eastbound and check out some of Kira's other stations on this line. So right now I am at Cliff Market, one of the stations on the expansion that I haven't been on. So let's check out the station. Let's take a look at the outside. Wow. I really like these exterior escalators where the or the stairways. And escalators here too, where you can kind of look out to the outside. It makes it feel really spacious. And I love these natural arches here. And again, as I mentioned about the indents, this makes it look really pretty. Where it's not just a flush pillar, but there are levels to it. Down here, there's not much. Not many roads or anything connecting to it, unlike Jinnipak Station, no buses. But just the whole layout of everything, it's really nice. And Kira used some custom bridges too. Wow, there, there are flowers on each concrete tile. I think these are created using the special... Hmm, I forgot what it's called. But I think it's part of the NTE tracks. You can add custom models to the way your tracks are rendered. So when you right click on the node, oh, did I mess it up? You can apply some models on it. I forgot how to do it. This doesn't seem to do anything and I don't want to mess up these tracks. So just like how you can select a custom model for the tracks, you can also apply a and make the track model include the bridge as well. That's what it is. So you can include some of these side blocks just by changing the way the rail is rendered. Or no, maybe it's just this. This is an external rail that Kira is using to render this bridge. So that's a nice building hack that you can use on your own systems. All right, so I think it's time to wrap this video up and kick off the new year, 2024. I'm really excited to see what other things people are going to build in this new year. Again, I apologize for the low chunk, slow chunk loading and the low TPS or the high MSPT. 
basically the server lag. Hopefully I can upgrade my computer parts again or just figure out some ways to make it render, make the server smoother. What is this? Hmm. So thank you so much for a great year. Thank you for always supporting the mod and your interest in these videos as well. I hope you have a happy new year and please like and subscribe to these videos so that you can get more updates. And check out the 4.0 playlist if you haven't already to see some previews of new features that will be added. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at these stations as much as I have. If you want to join the Let's Play server for yourself, make sure to check the link in the description. The instructions are on the Discord server, so you'll need to join that first. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next year. Bye.